Hello, today is Monday, June 20th, 2022. My name is Daniel Mullaney and behind the camera is Diego Juarez. Today we are here to film a brand new SciTech Spin Runs dryer. Uh, this system uses our slick device technology and is configured to run up to six inch substrates. Our customer's PO ends in 11538. Okay, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and get the process started, then discuss the system as we go. So in this case, our customer is running custom sized substrates. Here, as you can see, it's a unique size carrier right here. And in our bottom chamber, we have another uh, pretty unique rotor here. As you can see, we have a four position rotor, again, with our customer's uh, custom substrate items in here. Okay, <clears throat> so uh, although the system is configured with uh, sort of custom cassettes and substrates, the system operates the same as any uh, normal spin rinse dryer process, where we're first going to run a lower RPM rent cycle. In this case, it's 500 RPM. We're then going to ramp up to our high RPM for a short period of time. It's going to be about 1800, and that's going to uh, really just sling the majority of the water off the cassette and substrates. Um, and from there, we're going to move into our final dry step, which is a longer time, lower RPM dry that lets the heating elements sort of finish that whole drying process. Um, so yeah, as I mentioned, these are custom cassettes and items in here, but it follows the same standard semiconductor spin rinse drying process in order to achieve the uh, nice uniform dry. Okay. So we're now at uh, the 1800 set point on the first system. Uh, the, we purged out the water manifold to prevent any water from dripping out during the dry cycle and the uh, SRD is running very smooth. So everything's looking great right now so far in the system. The uh, system serial number for this tool is SRD-01450. Um, also, this uh, spin rinse dryer is configured with the uh, three standard options that you'd expect on an SRD. They are um, re uh, resistivity, so you can have a resistivity readout of the wastewater. DI recirculation, so that way you can have a constant flow of DI water to prevent any dead legging, uh, which can lead to bacteria growth. And a ionizer, so a static eliminator, we call it, uh, which is used for reducing any static charge that might build up in the Teflon cassette uh, during the high RPM rotation. Uh, basically, if you build up a static charge in the cassette while it's drying, then when you remove the cassette from the spin rinse dryer, particles in the room will attract the cassette and substrates and then increase your particle counts. So that ionizer is an important feature. Okay, looks like we've got about uh, 10 more seconds of dry time left. Uh, for dry one, excuse me. Okay, so dry one's now complete. There we go. Now ramp down to the uh, lower 500 RPM set point. Everything looks good. The second chamber is also now ramping down to the uh, lower 500 RPM set point and uh, is running great. So you can tell these SRDs are running extremely smooth and everything looks good. Um, <clears throat> in addition to providing spin rinse dryers from our inventory, as we are right here, uh, SciTech also offers 100% of the spare parts and services needed to keep our equipment up and running. So we offer any spare part that you could need for our equipment, whether it's a window, seal, filter, valve, anything like that. Uh, we stock those parts here and those can be purchased to replace uh, as needed over time. Uh, we also offer all of the services that you'd need for your spin rinse dryer. So uh, after several years, you might need a rotor rebalance or a controller repair um, or maybe a motor rebuild. All of those services are offered by us here and uh, we can quote you on them as needed. Um, those services don't just apply to our equipment but also semi-tool spin rinse dryers and vertex systems. Okay. Everything looks great still. A 
come to the back of the system just to inspect the drain and everything and there are no leaks everything is running correctly over here yep turning the uh, water recirc on and off back here to confirm that this valve works properly as well and uh, everything looks good on that front So in addition to providing uh, spin rinse dryers to the semiconductor marketplace, we also provide a whole variety of other refurbished equipment uh, to meet your processing needs. Some of those main pieces of equipment are box washers like the HTC 8010, 8020, and 8030 systems. Those are used for box and cassette cleaning. Mask cleaners such as Kulik and Sofa and uh, Ultratech and Ultra T. Those systems are used for high pressure washing masks to remove any sort of, um, any sort of uh, resist that might get on the surface of the mask from um, contact alignment or any sort of particles that might just result on the mask over time. Even if you're using a cleaner system like a stepper or otherwise, uh, it's still important to regularly clean your mask to prevent any repeatable defects that might come from the, uh, from the mask and uh, exposing the image onto your wafer surface. We also offer a Vapor Prime ovens like YES systems such as the YES LP3 and LP5. We also have barrel ash and etch tools such as Anatec and Branson. Um, and we offer photoresist pumps like IDI, Cybor, and Millipore. We offer pumps from our inventory for all those, um, uh, all those types of pumps. And we also offer repair services. So if you need your pump rebuilt, you can send it into SciTech. We'll go ahead and rebuild it here and uh, return it with a warranty. Okay. We've got about uh, 70 seconds left. Um, so, you know, this, is, this uh, system is just one of the video source inspections that we'll be providing today. You might see in the side of the camera view, but we also have a couple other systems in here that we're going to be filming and preparing for shipment. Um, we are really just uh, shipping out spin rinse dryers every single week. Um, uh, well, that's our primary business is providing spin rinse dryers uh, and we continue to do that for our customers in the semiconductor marketplace. Another aspect that I wanted to mention while the system is running here is that uh, we also offer custom cassettes. So the custom cassettes that you see in this system is a product that, that SciTech can offer. So if you really have a, a unique substrate size and shape that you need to have effectively dried in a spin rinse dryer but don't have a good way to, to carry it, that's one of the services that we offer. We'll work with you to identify the material type for your, your uh, cassette, whether or not you need a handle for dipping into chemicals, the number of slots, how many can run in the SRD, and really run the whole process uh, for you. So if you do have unique size substrates, Give us a call. We'd be happy to start a conversation with you about how they could be run in the SRD. Okay. So this top uh, cassette was run empty. We don't have the substrates for it, but I could feel the air purging and hot. The cassette itself is perfectly dry and it'd be ready for the next step in the uh, wafer manufacturing process. Okay. Taking a look at the bottom SRD. This one is purging and hot as well. I'm taking out our custom carriers here. They are dry and our uh, custom uh, substrates are also dry and ready for the next step in the manufacturing process. I'd like to uh, thank you for taking the time to view our inspection today. Again, my name is Daniel and this video is filmed for SciTech Process Solutions. If you'd like to learn more about our products, please visit our website at www.scitechprocess.com. That's S-I-T-E-K. Or give us a call at 916-797-9000. And to reach me directly, dial extension 2201. Thank you very much. Have a great day.